Okay, folks, uh, Dave here with Silver Diamond. Today we're going to talk about our uh, biochar and getting it ready to go into the worm bins. I'm pretty excited about this biochar because here on the Silver Diamond, the goal is to be able to do everything from scratch, you know, wh whether it's your soil, saving the seeds, getting up. We don't want to be dependent on nobody, and we want to, in turn, try to raise better plants, uh, uh, pick out seeds that are better seeds, whether you want faster. Uh, growing ones or bigger growing ones, just purely what you want. <clears throat> but with this biochar, guys, I've been doing a lot of reading on it and I'm, it's uh, really pretty interesting and especially with the whole Terra Prada thing in the Amazon forest. If you read that, it's pretty interesting that people, you know, were just as smart as us two or three thousand years ago. They were able to do this. What I want to do and to go now is I want to, all my bins, I want to, first of all, you know, with our castings, we're getting all tons of bacteria that are good bacteria that are in the soil. And with that in the biochar, we can probably exponentially grow these bacteria. But before I put the bacteria in my worm bins, I want to go ahead and uh, get some bacteria really, really growing in the uh, biochar. So I'm putting them in uh, my worm tea and I'm going to let them... Uh, just fill up and fill up with them bacteria. I don't know if that's called activating or loading or charging or something, but anyway, this this uh, biochar, which is pretty much exactly uh, charcoal. Now, what I did when I'm making my charcoal, uh, you get some pieces like bark and crumble up pretty easy. It's probably the junkiest part of uh, the big pieces I'm saving to cook uh, fire up the grill. But these little pieces. And I'll smash them up a little bit with the sledgehammer. About, you know, that size, on down to dust. Some of it's in there is purely dust. For our worm tea, first of all, we gotta have some good fresh castings. So right now, I wanna get, uh, I got these uh, super reds or European night crawlers. And I just wanna get me about a pound of castings real quick. Good fresh castings that are loaded with that microbial oil. Now you don't need a, a super whole lot of this to get these started, so I'm just going with, with what I've got here. And uh, you know, just that quick, I, some people put their castings down into these fruit bags. Personally, I don't care, because I'm, I'm using this for strictly soil amendment, going back into the worm bins, planting my plant in my pots. So, well right now what we got is this now these bacteria are uh, aerophiles they love the oxygen so we've got our aerator going down there remember no chlorinated water so my little dehumidifier thing didn't fill this up very good and i'll add some more as i go now i'm just going to take these uh castings here dump them down into the uh oxygenated water and i'm going to add my biochar and it's if you've ever looked at charcoal on a microscopic level, there's uh, just so much surface area on this for all these bacteria, uh, fungi to, to grow and to live. And actually, it'll really help if you keep your worm beds kind of moist. This will really keep it from getting too over moist. The water will fill in the, all them little grooves and give them bacteria a good place to hide and grow and multiply. And remember, this is a pure carbon source. Real good for, for doing this. The biochar, you can buy it, you can make it. It's If you got enough room to have a burn, 55 gallon drum burn barrel, you you can make a charcoal, biochar, whatever you want to call it, horticultural charcoal. Now that we've got our bacteria, which is not full of uh, bacteria in the castings, and we added the biochar to get it places for these guys to breed, hide, and the only thing else we need to do now is uh, give it a little food. So I've got some molasses here I put in there. And it don't take much molasses. I mean, I probably got two or three teaspoonfuls. Now we just give this a couple good days to uh, bacteria to load into all them cells and breed and multiply. It don't look real pretty with the biochar in there, but it's, uh, it's going to be full of packed uh, nutrients. And I'll probably add another aerator just to give it some uh, extra oxygen in there. Uh, as soon as this gets done in two days, I'm going to add what I just put in there to each worm bin. So 
It's going to take me a couple weeks to get them all filled up. But not only that, uh, they're going on the compost pile too to get that uh, whole microbial growth thing growing, breaking down compost and uh, getting us a lot of good soil for planting in the springtime. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you got any questions, give me a holler and I uh, hope you enjoyed and hope you learned and have a great day. God bless.